I love this quote by Don Miguel Ruiz, author of The Four Agreements, which says, you can only be you when you do your best. When you don't do your best, you're denying yourself the right to be you. That's a seed that you should really nurture in your mind. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You don't need the acceptance of others. You express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. So today, we're going to delve into the meaning behind the fourth agreement, always do your best, how you can practice doing your best, and a simple yet powerful strategy to help you. Always do your best. When I first read these four words, I felt a lot of pressure. How can I always do my best? Is that even possible? I was really skeptical until I learned more about this fourth agreement. Always do your best means that regardless of where you are, who you're with, what time of day it is, or how you're feeling at any given moment, do your very best in that moment. And when you do your best, remember that your best will fluctuate and will be different from one moment to the next. And it means that you want to do just enough without doing too much. This may help take some of the pressure off. So sometimes your best will be of super high quality and other times your best may simply be that you got up, brushed your teeth, washed your face for the day, and that's it. When you're not feeling well, your best may be that you sleep all day. Or when you're having a tough day, your best may be that you accomplish one task on your to-do list rather than all five to-dos for the day. And when you're feeling energized and healthy, you may be able to accomplish a significant amount of work. Or if you're a morning person and wake up early, then your best may look very different from the evening time when you're tired and ready to go to bed. Doing your best does not mean that you'll be performing at optimum levels 24 seven. It means that you do your best in every moment, no more and no less. One way to practice doing your best is to give yourself a lot of grace and be realistic as to what to expect from yourself from one day to the next. Practice lots of self-love and self-compassion. And try to understand yourself. Notice if you have more energy in the mornings or in the evenings. And if you come alive in the evening and are not a morning person, then you know that your best will look very different in the morning versus in the evening. And you'll also learn what to expect from yourself at certain times of the day. And once you gain more awareness, it does get easier. One simple yet very powerful strategy to help ensure that you're doing your best is to ask yourself, am I doing the very best that I can right now in this moment? And if your answer is yes, then you know you're there. And if your answer is no, then you may have a little more energy in you to strive to do your best in that moment. So I encourage you to begin noticing if you're doing your best throughout the day to day. And if you're unsure, simply ask yourself, am I doing my very best right now? The answer lies within you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you found value. I'm Lori Lander, Life Coach for Women, and I'm so glad that you tuned in today. Wishing you a wonderful week ahead, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next week.